Hi everyone, this is Diego von Brunner. Today I'm going to explain to you how to achieve realistic trim in Explain using a Brunner yoke or rudder. Now, what's the problem with Explain and trimming? Um, in front of you, you see um, a plane on the ground. I have um, a beach baron. And I have opened for you a window which shows the trim value. So I'm moving around my yoke, as you can see in the cockpit, and uh, you can see the aileron deflection. And now I have my yoke on the uh, lower limit, on the left limit. Now if I trim, you can see that the trim position changes. And you can also observe that the deflection of the aileron also changes, even if the yoke does not move at all. So explain compensates for USB um, devices that cannot change position when trimming by ch um, changing the position of the control surfaces. Now this is not realistic because as, as long as I do not move my yoke, I do not want any change in the control surfaces. Now to achieve this, you will have to edit your plane in Plane Maker. Here I have opened the installation directory of Xplane. And together with the Xplane executables, you have a Plane Maker executable. Now, first you go to aircraft, you take the plane that you want to change, you make a copy of that plane, you call, uh, give it a new, another name. And now you open Plane Maker, you open the plane, the edited version, now you go to Standard Control Geometry, Trim and Speed. Now this is important, change only the axis that you have a control loading system for. So if you only have a yoke, only change aileron and elevator and do not change rudder. So to achieve realistic trim, I need to turn off the moving of the control surfaces when I trim. So I set these values here to zero for aileron and for elevator as I have only a yoke and no rudder. Now these values are zero. And if I close the sub window and save this plane, quit. If I go back to uh, X plane and I open the aircraft, I have to rescan so I can see the new plane here. Uh, I can open this plane. Which takes a while as always. And if I change the view again. Let's have a look. So we have the yoke here and we have the aileron here and I can move the yoke around however I want. And if I move the yoke to the limit and I start trimming, you can see that the control surface does not move again. It stays just where it is. But as CLS to SIM is connected to X plane and reads the trim position, it will move if, if I now let go of the yoke and if I just push the trim button, the yoke will move to the trim position and the control surface will follow. So now I can move the yoke to the desired position and can trim until I neutralize the forces. Now, this is the way to achieve realistic trim in X-Plane. Thanks for watching and um, good flying.